Um, good morning, it's Lyric again. Um, I just wanted to do a quick energy check-in for the Divine Feminine. And um, so I decided to use um, Sophia Charles uh, training cards because I'm not getting the symbology on the cards correct. Like I've been pre-recording um, some card readings and I keep getting like wands and cups and swords and um except i can always get the pentacles right but all the other symbols i keep screwing up and those are important because it relates to our thinking our actions and our feelings so to get those all jumbled up is not really like um yeah so and to do right by myself and to do right by anyone else so yeah so we're gonna go to these trainers for now uh, let's see. Except I don't know why they're all funny like this. That's odd. So we're good. Okay. So yeah, we did um, a check-in yesterday, I think it was, for the Divine Masculine energy. So I wanted to um, sort of balance out. Let's check in with the feminines. And then I also have um, some an oracle card that I would like to um, to pull just for um, substance, okay? So one second here. I hope that everyone is doing good. Um, I'm doing a little bit better, so I'm happy about that. Okay, um, divine thing, I'll keep that one, okay? <laughs> That's funny. One, two, and three. Hmm. So, um, for the Divine Feminine, um, the uh, overall energy um, was is the Four of Swords, the Moon, um, and the King of Swords. So, the energy kind of looks like um, it's more settled, um, calming, um, reflecting, kind of like... Um, taking stock of what's going on, taking stock of herself. Um, we have the moon card here. Um, this moon card um, pulls on Pisces energy, which I'm super not familiar with any of the planetary stuff, but I'm going to learn. Um, anyway, so yeah, so um, Divine Feminine is kind of like settling down, um, taking a look at what's going on in her life. Um kind of like not mad, not sad, not glad, just kind of like um, very mature energy, I think. Um, uh, a little bit um, in her head. Um, it looks like she could be um, being more decisive and taking charge of her thoughts and taking responsibility for the things that she chooses or not chooses to do. So I'm really feeling this. Like um, I'm really feeling like this is like super spot on. Um, so hopefully, um, this, um, energy is, you know, in play for a while and like, let this just be like a reminder that, um, you know, no matter what we're going through, um, you know, as adults, we can't like, just like hide in our rooms all day and put our heads under the blankets, even though like I sometimes just want to do that. But, um, uh, when we have a moment to ourselves, you know, um, just, um, get quiet do some journaling, um, do some kind of meditation, do some reflection, um, pull back from those emotions and pull back from those harsh words that we say to ourselves in our head. So I'm going to pull um, an oracle card. Um, I just, these are super pretty, huh? I like these a lot. Um, and I actually haven't even opened this box in a really long time. So... Um, we're going to get one card for the Divine Femme, okay? One card, something to send us away. Okay. okay. So, um, this looks like a fairy or an angel, and it says, um, changing consciousness, awareness, extrasensory perception. So this could be um, at this time your intuition is going up. Um, 
this time of, of healing and settling down and um, pulling back your energy from whatever um, situations that are causing a lot of um, conflict and, um, you know, just causing you to act like not yourself anymore. Like maybe um, you're working too many hours and you're being overreactive towards people. Um, maybe you're in your head too much, um, criticizing yourself. And, um, you know, this is the, relax, focus. You got skills, girl. I'll talk to you later.